Okay, so as we talked about in the previous training video, when you apply conditional formatting to a range of cells, and you have other cells throughout the entire worksheet that have conditional formatting, you don't want to clear the entire worksheet, but then at the same time you don't want to waste energy by, okay, I've got to select this range here, or go down to row 50,000, column JK, to be able to select ranges there. What you can do, however, if you want to manage it a lot faster, is by coming up here on the Home tab to the Styles group, and click on Conditional Formatting, and go down to Manage Rules. Now, before I click on that, how many different conditional formats do I have here? Well, we have the arrows and we have the bars, so we have at least two. Do I have more? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Click on Manage Rules. And right now it's just showing the rules for the current selection, which my current selection is cell H10. And there's nothing there. So instead of selecting the range here, I can go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and say, okay, go ahead and show me all the conditional formatting rules for this entire worksheet. Select it, and there you go. Okay, so we've got the arrows, and there they are. We have the bars, and there they are. And the stars, well, notice something that the stars and the arrows are set or being applied to the same range, B3 through M5, B3 through M5. So why is it that it's showing the arrows, not the stars? Well, you've got a hierarchical structure here, so whatever's on top is going to take precedence, and that's what it's going to show. So that way, if you're like, mm, I'd rather see the stars, you could either go ahead and select the rule and delete it, but if you want to keep it because maybe you want to go back to it, either because you're giving a presentation, you have a different audience, they like arrows, well, you don't have to delete it, you just have to go ahead with it selected and bump it down in the hierarchy so it's below the stars. And then click apply and because the stars are on top of the arrows, there you go, the stars take precedence. Cool. Now you can also edit, like the icon set, first of all the range, if you want to apply it to a different range, click on its collapsible dialog box button, you get the marching ants of the current selection, you just have to go ahead and click and drag to reselect another range. And then when you select it, hit the enter key to pop it back open, and that will be your new range here. And if you want to actually edit the rule with it selected, click on Edit. Opens it up. Let me click the title bar so I can move it up here. And you can change it to a different type of rule, but let's keep it simple. We'll cover the more advanced stuff in a later training video. So we're dealing with the icon set of the stars. You can change that and say, eh, I'd rather go ahead and do these three signs. Click off. Also, you got the stars. And the value is set to, well, anything greater than or equal to 67 gets a full color, anything that's less than or equal to 33 gets no color, and anything in between, 67, so it's got to be greater than or equal to 33, but less than 67, then you get a half star. So you can go ahead and change that. You can go ahead and say, don't do it by percentage, do it by number, whatever works best for you. Let me go ahead and click cancel. And then, of course, you can delete the rules. So if I delete the stars, then the arrows will be taking over. And let me delete it. And then, of course, you have to click Apply to update it. And there you go. We got the arrows. And then finally, if you want to go ahead and create a new rule while you're here, click on New Rule. And it opens up. You have all these different rules to choose from. But I want to cover that in a later training video. It's a bit more advanced, but it's there. And let me click Cancel. And if I'm good with everything, it all looks rather well, swell. Go ahead and click OK. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.